All right, Coach, Sid talked about it a little bit, but just uh, obviously not the outcome you wanted, but she talked about the, the experience. Ex experience. Experience, yeah. Yeah, there you go, for the freshmen. Mm -hmm. I mean, just how big is this for your younger players playing for a big crowd like this, this time of the season? Yeah, no, it's uh, outstanding. And, you know, I think you look at it from a fan's eye as one thing, and then from a coach's eye, it's a different one, right? So um, kids are completely, you know, sad that, you know, everyone's here to watch them play and they wanted to perform for them. But there was a lot of growing moments for our freshmen in the circle, for our team individually. So it's not just freshmen in the circle, but it's our team playing behind the freshmen to gain that cohesiveness. So when you get some freshmen out there here in the next couple weeks in postseason they have some consistency with their defense behind them so I'm really proud of the two of them coming in and um, starting the game and coming into the game and the defense to be really keyed into what they're doing so that was exciting um, momentum for us to move forward you know you mentioned it not the result when you have over 1800 here yeah. yeah. how does that make the girls feel how does that make you feel oh it's tremendous uh, I think people are starting to fall in love with the game and uh, so you know I think in the past you came here because it was a Florida Florida State matchup now you're coming here because you enjoy softball and you enjoy the rivalry of it and and you know, there's a passion between the two teams. And so I think that's the really cool part of it is you can feel the weight of every pitch. And uh, that makes it exciting for our team to be in that environment. Maybe not as much tonight, but so many of these games over the recent kind of skid have been been right there. It's yep. not the play going your way. <laughs> yep. When that play finally does go your way, how big can that be for kind of swing the momentum back in the direction? That uh, can be huge. I, you know, momentum's all about this game. And honestly, you want to peak at the right time, you know. So, I mean, start off like we started off. I mean, we were hot for that first month of February. It was crazy. And, you know, we kept saying, like, it's coming. There, you know, you can't sustain 60 games and 70 games. It's coming. Florida had it before we played them down there, and then they turned it around. So you're going to go up and down, you know, weeks here and there. You just got to make sure that your, your mental muscle can stay in shape and, and can handle it. And that's where we're at right now, right? We'll have a good talk tomorrow with the team and flush it and get after Boston College and uh, I love the fight today and I love that they're feeling a little bit right now like you, you know like dang it you know there's a good crowd out here we wanted to get after it but now it's time to move forward and get after BC after 10 straight on the road the quick turnaround here just how nice will it be getting yep. the next two weekends here and not having to travel for quite a while yeah for sure I mean the first night I don't think how many kids were texting like I slept in my own bed and it was amazing you know so uh, that'll help us but you know with our fans too and the weather and our stadium I mean it's just gonna be so nice to be at home coach I Kelly Barnhill, I mean, you've yep. seen her for a lot of years, and she had nine strikeouts tonight. Yep. It's such a hard pitcher to hit. I mean, just what yep. does she bring kind of the element to this game? Um, I think there's something about you're facing Kelly Barnhill. So right away you know that she strikes people out. So mentally you've got to kind of like, okay, I'm going to face someone that's going to strike me out. So I signed up to fail, and then she makes a lot of people fail. So how do I handle that mentally and emotionally? Um, I was really happy with some of our kids getting after some at-bats and fouling some pitches off and getting some swings on some pitches. And so, um, you know, it, it's tough. I think she was spinning it today better than she has in a long time. And uh, she's got that confidence in the circle too, and the team does behind her. So um, if we can turn that around and be a positive for us, which is really hard to do because we failed a lot, but you know, realize our mental approach and what we were looking for, then we can build off of that and go into the weekend. Does this team also, your team, get mentally stronger not having Megan out there? I mean, just to, to know that you know, the ace is not going to be out there and they're going to have to maybe pick yeah. up a little bit more. Yeah, well, I, you know, I mean, Megan's going to graduate, unfortunately, <laughs> and she's going to move on. And we've got some amazing kids behind her, and they need experiences. And today they showed that they can handle a big environment, uh, they can handle a, a big hype game, and they handled some of really good hitters. And so when you look at that part of it, yes, people get caught in the results, but I look at some of those moments those kids were out there, they grew today. And that's what you need to build on with experiences and the team behind them. So now they know what they can expect from them. Thank you, guys.